Hey everybody, it's Gary and Katie, back for another uh, 100 Blends in 100 Days video. Today is day 83, if I have that right. Um, and today we are we are doing Escudo Navy Deluxe. <clears throat> this, uh, there, there's a slight concerning thing on the front of the tin. Um, if, if you're not a fan of Escudo, I'm, I'm sure once you're a fan, you'll overlook it. Um, but it says Navy Deluxe, a choice and unique blend scientifically manufactured, which makes me think Twinkies. Like, like what do they make it from if it's scientifically manufactured? But I'm, I'm sure that's not what they mean. I'm sure it's the process, something along those lines. Now we have to Google things. Uh, this tin is sealed. We are actually smoking a sample from the traveling box of blends. Appreciate that. Thank you, Tim. Tim School Pipes. <clears throat> this is a combination of full-bodied Virginia, Perique, Sorry, a combination of full-bodied Virginia and Perique are the cornerstone in Escudo. The blend is pressed and matured before it is spun into coins. This process ensures the unique character of Escudo. Um, this is also a well-known, well-loved uh, blend. People love this all, all over the place. There are people who I know, they have it built into their yearly budget to stock up on Escudo. Um, I don't know if it's going to be stocked up like that for us, but it is pretty good. Um, do you want to, you want to give us Jim Inc.'s take, take on this? Late 1990s to circa 2005 AC Peterson version. Yep. Three stars. Three stars. Sorry. Yep. The Virginia's provided a fair amount of tart and tangy citrus, tangy dark fruit. Vegetative grass, bread, sugar, earth, wood, hay, mild floralness, tart lemon, and light spice as the lead components. The spicy, raisiny, plummy, figgy, earthy, woody, moderately sweet Greek has a was a supporting player. Had an obvious prune topping. The strength, nick hit, and taste levels were a notch past the medium mark. Didn't bite or get harsh. Had a few small rough edges. Burnt cool, clean, and a tad slow with a very consistent vapor flavor. It was more citrusy and grassy than the Murray's Deluxe Navy Rolls at the time, and a couple of steps less fuller. Wasn't wasn't an all-day smoke. Four stars. Oh, and he's got another one for another edition. There's, oh yeah, there's two different ones. And they're all quite similar. Other than the newest one, which he doesn't give as many stars. Okay. Apparently the newer one's more mild. And he doesn't like that. Well, he has a palate that many of us wish for. Maybe his palate is scientifically manufactured. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I think it's a really well-rounded blend. I don't... I think if it were... Um, too much stronger, I think it would be off-putting. Yeah. No, it, uh... I'm glad it doesn't have more pre. Yeah, I think it's, it's just it's, enough. Yeah, just enough to have, like, that flavor's there, but it doesn't, uh, kick you in the tongue. I don't like this pipe. <laughs> Bought it as a kick-around travel pipe. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you need more of those. Who I doesn't? do. Who doesn't? This is perfect for driving. This this is a little baby well bent I got from uh, my smoke my smoking shop. The smoke, the smoke, the smoking shop. Uh, uh, in the UK, when I got my hard castle, I also ordered this guy, and it weighs nothing. You don't have to clinch it. It just is long enough to rest against my teeth, and there's just nothing to it. I don't like those because I have a full lip thing to do. Well, this one doesn't have an actual P-lip. It looks like it, <laughs> but it has a hole in the end. And it's got the funky bottom. Yeah, so you press that against your teeth. Yeah. Top of your teeth there. I don't do that. I'm not a clencher. You drive? I can drive. 
because we have an automatic. This is true. Ooh. All right. There, there is a reason to not get a, <laughs> not get a stick again. There's a reason to be a quitter. Hey, <coughs> I don't think the electric cars come with a stick, do they? I Hi- don't care. Hybrids. I'm not going to own one. Or the hybrids or any of those. I don't think any of them do. Granted, I haven't seen that many in person, but the ones I've seen do not. Granted, most folks I know don't know how to drive a stick, so. Yeah, and it's not getting any better. There's not a growing volume. But uh, on, on to I actually, the actual tobacco blend we were talking about. Oh, heaven forbid. Um, out of 10, would you give it? I am. Six? Seven? I'd, I'd it's go not s- craveable for me. I'd go this seven. Good. I'd go seven. This is something I would I would have at least a ten on hand though. I don't know if I would have ten tins of it, but my palate once again is a little jacked up. Like watching the hamster wheel turn for you as you evaluate that. The hamster wheel. Why? Thank you. I'm trying to pick out because there's okay, there's a watch, lot of different flavors. Watching I'm... the gears turn. Is that better? I suppose. Apparently, I, I wear all of the thoughts on the face. I think so, but it uh, it does it definitely does have its own unique presence, as it were. It does. It has a lot of unique flavor to it, and they're all fairly even. There is a competitor to it, which we will get to before the 100 days is up. Oh? Uh, Peterson has one. I have a tin of it waiting for us to crack. Mm. I'm all right. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is, that's, that's what we have for you for day 83. Um, thanks for coming by. I hope you have a great day. And we're going to see you tomorrow for another snack attack, another 100 blends in 100 day, days video. It will not be Peterson tomorrow. At least not the, uh, not their Navy rolls. But we will, we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.